In this video, I'm going to show a conditioning drill for infielders working on picks. So I just did this and I am completely out of breath and I love doing drills like this because when I played, I could work out all summer or work out all year, feel in fantastic shape, but when I got to infield, I would feel out of shape because obviously it's just a little bit different movement, you're always moving, so I love doing drills like this. Um, it forces us to keep our feet in motion, it's a good workout, but it also helps us hone in on our feet and our glove. For this drill, I am using my Valley K47, it's a seven inch glove. I just love to use this for picks because it forces me to stay down. You can use your regular glove. So for this drill, we're gonna do continuous glove side picks, backhand picks, and then picking it on the run. Let's just go over a couple details with picks before we get into the drill. So when the ball hits the ground, we wanna get that ball immediately into our glove. We don't want that ball really to go any higher than the middle of our shin. If it does that, we're not quite sure where that ball is going. So right when the ball hits the ground, we wanna get our glove under the ball. So my fingertips are gonna be under the ball and behind it. And as it hits my glove, I'm gonna be pushing through with my glove, making sure that my wrist stays flat. A common thing I see from fielders is they'll pick a ball and then their hand starts to curl up and their glove goes up with them. When you do that, sometimes the ball goes flying out. Other times, it just takes too long to transfer because if you think about it, you pick, bring it up, you have to bring it back down just a bit to transfer in the center of your body because if you do this, it's gonna be really tough to transfer that ball. The other thing that we don't wanna do is have it hit and pull it back. So the ball hits and I wanna keep my fingertips down and keep that flat wrist. So to start off for this drill, I'm gonna be tossing balls to myself and I'm gonna be picking at glove side. So I'm gonna toss the ball up, I'm gonna pick at glove side and right when I pick, I'm gonna transfer to work on my transfers and I'm gonna back pedal. Just a couple steps and as I'm backpelling, I'm tossing again, picking it, working on my transfer, and then I'm gonna do this five times in a row. Then I'm gonna move to backhand and I'm gonna do the same thing. With my backhand, I'm gonna work on opening up just a bit so my glove foot is gonna be pointed more towards my target. So I'm gonna toss it up, pick it, transfer it, backpedal. And right when I get back to the start, pick it, and I'm gonna do that five times. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick it on the run. So I'm gonna toss this ball right up in front of me, and when I pick this ball, it's gonna be on the outside of my glove foot, and I'm just gonna be using that one hand. So I'm gonna pick it, and then I'm gonna backpedal, toss it right back up, get my feet set, and then do that again. So this drill is tough just because you're moving constantly. So yes, we wanna work on our glove movement, always pushing through with just minimal glove movement. But the other thing is we gotta stay light on our feet and we need to keep those short choppy steps. Cause this is all one motion and we're going back to the start and we toss it up, we've gotta get short choppy steps in order to get our footwork down. So if I'm going glove side, it's right left. If I'm going backhand, it's right left. If I'm going on the run, I'm going right left. Always making sure that ball is hitting my glove when my glove foot hits. And this is what's gonna look like full speed. 